morning guys welcome to today it's sunday and i've been busy did all the horse chores and i cut up all those branches that are outside cut them up and now we're having a fire in the house i don't know why it's kind of hot and the dogs they love fires look at them they love the fire ellie was here earlier but she's gone to chase the cat but daisy and molly like to be hot do you like the fire daisy can't hear me this is how we do our Sunday morning. Put a bunch of twigs in there and behind the fireplace are the branches that I cut up. There they are again, lying in front of the fire. <laughs> Ellie was actually the first one in front of the fire earlier today. Then Daisy realized there was a fire on so she'd lie down. Now they're sleeping by the fire. Should actually put a bed there. I have to put a bed there or something. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, Sam's already been out. Actually, we've all already been out so many times. Trish trying to get stuff done. Sam dragged all of the firewood or all the wood that fell down here and he cut it all up and he had a fire. That's what it looks like, the little pieces. It's amazing that he can do that. Do you remember this? Our wagon and our bridge. That would be fun for goats. All of our jumps and this bridge too, we had this. We could actually use those things to make more platforms in the goat barn. The only problem is that having platforms where you have baby goats, not a good idea and I'll explain in a little bit. Wait, what are you doing? Poles. What are you gonna do, where are you gonna do poles? In Penny's area. You're gonna do it, yeah. In, Pass me another pole. In Penny's little area. You got lighter. They got lighter, you got stronger. What other color do you want? The other blue one? Any, because you're carrying two too. I'm not. Yeah. I'm filming. Carry. Oh gosh, five. she's got wet. Ugh. I'm not carrying them, sister. If you want them, you gotta carry them. We'll put that one back. <laughs> it's a little dirty, but oh. I'm looking here at all this stuff that we had at our old barn that Sam tried to put a tarp on and keep covered for the winter. And I'm thinking like all the stuff that would be amazing for our goats and then even for our pig and our duck and our goose. So we have a second pool. This one's bigger. I'm sure the duck and the goose would like it. So once it's spring and we have more room to put this out, we will do that. Recently I saw something that people use pool noodles for and I was thinking it was such a good idea, something that I want to do. Right. I can't remember now. I have tires just laying all around. This is Sam. <laughs> just lay them all around. I don't mind junk as long as kind of, as long as it is kind of just put together. But anyways, the tires that we use for the horses, <laughs> oh my gosh, put on top of the red one. We're actually gonna bring those down this year, this summer, and I'm gonna bury half of them in the ground. That's my one of my big plans. Get really Ellie! Get over here, you little rat. So I'm gonna get like four or five of them and put them all in a row, bury them in the ground for the goats, for the babies. What I wanted to show you guys is that, do you guys remember when I dug up that bathtub? It was so dumb. This also is a garden, was a garden at some point. It is just a big mess of grass now. Ellie! Get over here. Stop running off. I still need to find a bell. Anyway, Sam's going to use this for his garden. He's definitely different than me. What he likes is different than what I like. I like a lot of squashes and pumpkins and, and green stuff. He only likes tomatoes and corn and zucchini. <laughs> the Italian in him. So he's gonna take over that little garden and he's gonna plant that. Over here, before we moved here, this also was a garden. You can see the outline of it, where it's dark, big, huge rectangle. So there was a garden here as well, but we decided to grow grass here. That's why the grass wasn't that nice here because it was a garden before. So hopefully we'll get grass back here and we'll have like a bit of a backyard. All the little chickens are like, it's so warm out, we wanna go out. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. It's not warm enough. We need to get rid of our roosters. We have like half of our chickens are roosters. Now that it feels like spring, <laughs> it's really the best time to start getting rid of our roosters. i
lost Sophie. I have no idea where she went. She said she was going to go get Willow and work with her, but she is missing. <laughs> that makes me nervous. I don't like when somebody is missing on a farm. It's one of the reasons why I always watch my girls when they're in the arena, even if no other parents are in there. The plot thickens. We only have these two. Oh, I see her. What the heck is she doing? I don't know where the other horses are. Oh, there's Willow. Penny and Storm must be down there somewhere. There are a bunch of cedar rails over here. Actually, there were more. Where are they? They must be down there. But anyway, there are a bunch of cedar rails in this little area that I could probably use to line my garden also. I'm thinking about making this a field. Why wouldn't I make this a field? It goes all the way down to the back fence that we leave to go on the trail, but it's like not too shabby. Like we use it as a walkway right now. We never just leave the horses out here to graze, but I think that this is going to be one of the, one of the fields that we use. We're going to add it as a field this year. There's Sophie, just standing on a rock. Minding her business, standing on a rock. I have all of my little tiny goat sweaters. I have two pink ones and a blue one for a boy. So all my towels, everything washed. Come on, Ellie. I'm not expecting to have to use uh, any more sweaters because the weather's kind of getting warmer. But if it gets really far below zero and the babies are newborn and wet on those days, ow, then I will definitely use them. <laughs> She's just so skinny. Look at how skinny poor little Blossom is. That's, that's a boy. I thought that was Lola, but she's skinny. And look at how chubby her mom is. Look at that, that baby belly. She's skinny everywhere. Her butt, actually her butt looks skinnier because she shaved. <laughs> Everybody runs. Because he runs with me and that one doesn't. He's gonna stop doing that though. Give my girl there. I'll, I'm in love with my girl now. Get off. Do you think she popped? <laughs> Look at her udder. It looks bigger. She popped. I don't know. She looks big. Does it look, it looks more full. Oh my gosh, give it back. <laughs> it's still pretty good. It looks big. It looks like a lot bigger. She's definitely having more than one baby. Lucy tried apples. Did she like Look, it? Lola likes something for once. <laughs> you like apples, Lola? She doesn't uh, like anything. I know. She's really picky. <laughs> oh, give me that bag. Oh my gosh. Stop <laughs> ripping things out of my hand. <laughs> Sophie's surrounded by her two babies. Do you know, it's so weird how like we had to get goats to figure out what we wanted in our goats and what we wanted from our goats. We always knew we wanted goats and we wanted milk. So that means breeding and having babies. But then we didn't realize that we wanted to show and that we wanted to have nice udders that helped our goats last for a long time. Actually, her udder is not that awful. Imagine butt heading with people while you're pregnant. That would not be fun. I thought about it. I know. I, I'm really getting to love this little goat. I didn't like, she wasn't my favorite from the beginning because she's such a noisy goat. And y'all know that I love a quiet goat. <laughs> he was noisy and she was noisy. He, he's not though. He's not, I know. Don't you wanna no, no, I don't wanna keep him. I really don't wanna keep him. He has been a devil. He is two weeks old. And he's an absolute devil. In a couple months, he's also gone. And he'll be better. Sophie thinks once he's castrated that he'll be better. I know I keep saying it, but I actually love this goat. It's Sophie's goat, but I love her even though she's skittish and scared of us. She has the best, oh, the best biting teeth. She has the best temperament ever. Look, Look at, at her belly. Look at her belly. Look at the baby walk. She, uh, Ellie, what the heck? Murdered. You're about to get murdered. She still sticks her head in. The, the grandmas are like standing there staring. Anyway, I really love that brown goat. And I am starting to kind of like love the white one, Tilly. I do like them all, but she's just starting to trust <laughs> me and starting to like take food from me. And I don't know. Look how cute. <laughs> Look at my dog. She has a death wish. Look how cute, Mom. She's like, I finally got away from that goat. So she was a bottle baby. If you horn me, 
She was also dam raised and then she was a bottle baby. So every day holds the possibility of a miracle. Every day is almost like Christmas. Every morning I wake up and I come down to do chores and I'm like, ooh, if somebody's udder popped, that means that we're gonna have babies within the next one to two days. And every day I come down and I look for it and there's never an udder pop. <laughs> Come on, I swear they just wanna make me wait to torture me. Today is warm, but it's dark and dreary outside, but tomorrow the sun is supposed to come for the next three or four days. It's supposed to be so warm. They should not officially go past this next week. So this week coming up, you guys are watching this on Monday, starting this week, we should have babies. We should have at least one set of babies. And then the next week we should have another set of babies. So there should be babies this week, for sure. If they can't go any longer. Gosh. Get her. That was a dumb choice. Come here, she just jumped the fence. Yep, we're laughing at you with that big, huge belly. <laughs> He's headbutting me now. He's like, you pick me He's up. He's looking for milk. I swear to God, he does it to me every single morning. He goes, because it's the same, like, he goes between his mom's legs to get the milk. So he goes b between your legs and he looks on behind your knees for your teats. He doesn't do that to Lola. He no. just jumps on Lola. Everybody's napping. I could just sit here and watch pregnant goats all day, though. Like, look at how big that belly is. That's the side where the babies are. But when they have, oh, I can see them moving. But when they have more than one baby, they kind of push over into the into their stomach too. So last night we moved everyone around. We put the baby and his mom in here because they have this, this thing that they can jump. They can cuddle up underneath here. He's big enough. He doesn't need the heat lamp anymore. We moved Mocha over here because we have the camera in here. So she's the next one ready to be due. I want to be able to see on the camera and know what's happening. Sam didn't think that moving the camera every time someone's in labor or going to be in labor is a good idea. So he said, just change their stalls. So we changed their stalls. And Sophie said, I hope he doesn't jump out. <laughs> Cause he already tried to. So I listened all night on the camera. I, like when it's dark, I can only see inside that stall. I can see outside a little tiny bit, um, but I can hear. And so if he got out, Lola would be screaming hysterically. So Blossom. I knew, or Blossom would be screaming hysterically. So I knew he was probably okay. So I came down this morning and he was standing right here with his mama, just on this little thing. And I was like, good boy. So I fed them. And then I went to the back to feed the other goats and the dogs were down here. The dogs were over here. And Winston loves dogs. He loves to chase them. He loves to jump on them. He loves to just be with the dogs. So all of a sudden, while I was feeding the other goats, I heard Blossom freaking out and I knew instantly. He literally just jumped out of there, landed on the ground and was over there chasing the dog. So, He's like, I have your friends. so we're gonna have to get some kind of like mesh. <laughs> Like, goats are so hard. Baby goats. I'm gonna, all goats are hard. So I'm gonna have to get some kind of a mesh to keep them locked in here and locked in there because I would hate for him to get over in that stall. So we're gonna have to try and figure that one out. This morning when I woke up, I actually dreamed. Did you get eggs then? Oh, I didn't get eggs. Come on, mom. This morning when I woke up, I actually, just before I woke up, I saw a popped udder in my head. So I know it's coming in the next couple of days. That's how I always dream it. I always know if Zoe laid in the head because the eggs are covered. What it's when she didn't, it's just Lucy. So <sighs> I have dreamed every single process, every single bit of this whole baby goat journey. I've dreamed all of it. It's like, it's like I'm just waiting for it to happen, but I've seen it all. I dreamed that both Mocha and Blossom gave birth without us being there. They just like snuck it. They just did it. And then I dreamed that we were there for Tilly and that there's problems that so she has a runt and that- We're gonna get that. And then I'm like, like go through the whole motion because I want the dam to raise her. I don't want to pull her and, and bottle feed her and like 
raise her ourselves because it's so much easier. Trust me, we've had a lot of bottle babies and I do not want any more bottle babies. So <laughs> I dreamed that all that happens and like- Last bottle baby I had. I feel like I've lived the whole process already in my dreams. It's crazy. Don't you know that you 